Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. I'm not sure if I'm going to call this why not to wreck your airbox, why to fit a snorkel, why not to fit a snorkel, and why not to block up the hole in the bottom of the airbox, right? So let's just quickly take a look at the airbox. This is the base, the inside, right? The dirty side. Hasn't been cleaned other than a quick little wipe. It's never been washed out in like that. So that's the most amount of dirt and dust you get sitting in the bottom of these boxes. And see the drain holes there? It's all sitting like that. If there's any water from anything gets in there, those three little holes allow it to drain out. So I suggest you don't block those. See here, what I want to show you is the thickness. And I should have grabbed a ruler to measure to show you exactly. But you know, what's that? A finger? I'm telling you, that's about 13 mil, something like that. Best estimation. You can get your rulers out and tell me I was wrong. Anyway, this is the airbox base out of a Prado 1GD, so you can go, there's the part number if you can see that with a light on, sorry about that. And here you've got your one-way valve, right? So you know, now you know what it looks like inside and out here, right? So there's a outer casing and an inner, right? So what happens when the air goes in, this is what's called like a pre-spinner. This doesn't actually spin, but what it does, it spins the air. And if you look in there, it's hard to see, you can see it's not a turbo. It's a turbo. No, it's not a turbo. And it's not a 747 or anything else. It's not a Boeing. You can see the inner and the outer. If you look in there carefully, I know it's hard. It's very difficult to show you these things, but you can have a look at your own if you like. But what happens is that goes in there and that spins the air and it throws all, anything that's got any weight to it from anywhere in this area, let's say the center, out to the sides, right? Boof, it all goes that way. So if it's water or dust or whatever the case may be, it goes into that compartment, right? In between, right up there at the top of the picture, right on the top edge, and it's on the top edge now, right? You can see in between, right in the middle of the picture there. It goes into that area there, and that goes all the way around, and guess what? It falls to the bottom, because it's called gravity, right? And what's at the bottom? Ah, oh, here it is. There it is, that uh, one-way valve thingy again. So. The deal is, firstly, if you take a look at vehicles like this one, just give me a sec to plug the uh, phone on the charger, using a phone for this video, we're all plugged in now, hopefully we're okay, let's see if it says low battery again, but when you install, okay, a couple of things, this vehicle hasn't got a snorkel fitted, so if I'm to take the guard liner off, I already know I'm going to see it really clean in around the wheel arch no dust or anything like that. And other people have put their photos up over the years. If you've been working on vehicles or Prados or your own or doing your research, you would have seen what I've seen, okay? And in that wheel arch there stays very clean. And the, and the pickup, the air intake, this area here, it's up pretty high. It's really, you know, it's around about waist height. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna take a measurement. That's a separate video. But I just wanna demonstrate what this does. And then have a think about it, that the clean air coming from that area because it's kind of protected from the dust again all the heavy stuff's gone with gravity down and back the other way this is up high in a, in a cavity that's clean and dry um, so it does pick up quite clean air putting a snorkel on people are saying oh get it up high it's, it's right in the dust right you know it's like right it's the worst place and those air tech ones that everything that goes up the windscreen it collects that as well and jams it down in there as well look I could be wrong, but this is the way I understand it. You can put it in the comments. I know people love to put it in the comments how I'm wrong and all of that. But what happens then? So you've got the cleanest possible air. And I think the evidence is there when we look in the air box about, you know, that hasn't been full of dust. It's never been washed out. You just wipe the perimeter here where the new air filter goes. You know, maybe that area there. But you can see it's never been, you know, we've never wiped, haven't wiped in there. See that area there? So it's very clean there, even though this is... Heaps of outback trips, probably more than anyone else's vehicle in 60,000 k's. How clean it is, right? So I just want to demonstrate what I think works from my experience. That's all it is. It's, I can only go by the experience I've got working on these bloody cars every day. You know what I mean? Looking at these cars, researching these cars, helping people with these cars. Anyway, so what happens then? It's set, what You've got your really clean air and then the water and dust separates in here. So if you've got a snorkel, let's go for the if you've got a snorkel. If you've got a snorkel and it's facing forward and you're in a heavy downpour, some water is gonna go in the front, right? So what happens then, it runs down, it comes in here, and then that's cool, because it separates here and it goes out here, right? Happy days. If there's too much and a little bit excess gets through, uh, it goes out those holes, it drains out. Happy days. Now, not so happy days, 
for people that have had a snorkel fitted, because that's what we're talking about, and someone's got the and sealed up those little holes that are maximum two to three millimeters in diameter, that the water, we've done other videos showing how long it takes for water to come up. If you get water up to that height of your vehicle and it's in there long enough that it actually pulls that much water up to the height that it gets up to your air filter and gets in your engine, you've got bigger problems to worry about. So, the tip is, get a snorkel if you want. If you do, don't block the holes in the air box and don't block, people silicon these up, right? What happens then if you silicon it up? Because you're not gonna do this if you haven't got a snorkel. So we're talking about people that have, right? We said that a minute ago, people that have got a snorkel and they've siliconed this up, or RTV, whatever, they've siliconed up those holes. What happens then is, any river crossing that is deep, uh, any rain that's heavy, you know, you're on a long drive, you're going from, you know, back in the day when you're allowed to drive interstate, you're driving from, I don't know, South Australia to Northern Territory, WA, whatever, right? And it happens to be raining. It doesn't rain there, does it? Hang on, change of plan. Uh, you're driving from Tasmania to Queensland. There you go, you got on the ferry, you've come across, um, you're trying to get away from the cold, wild weather. Uh, you're in Victoria, it's still cold and wild, and you're headed north, New South Wales, pretty average as well. Anyway, the point is you're driving for hours and hours in this heavy downpours of rain and there's water everywhere. What's happening is all the water's coming down, it's coming in here. It doesn't matter if it gets separated or not, because this is all full of water, it can't drain out. And your air box here is actually slowly filling up with water and it's got no way to drain out. And once it gets that little pull in the bottom there, then it can make it start making its way in the intake and you could be in trouble now. We don't really hear of this, you know, but just the way people say, oh, you know, you've got to have a snorkel and oh, you've got to block it. You've got to block up these holes and you've, you've got to put silicon on it, you know, hang on. So your radiator hoses have got coolant, 120 kPa, no silicon, they don't leak. And we've got an air system that's just sucking air in and you need silicon. No, 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 you just put hose clamps, nice and square and straight so they're not going to slip off. Nicely firm, just like any other hose clamp. Piece of cake, right? Anyway, I just wanted to explain that and show you the thickness, how that system works for the people that don't know. A lot of people don't know. This is a one-way valve, works pretty well. If you get in a lot of dirt and dust, when you change or clean your air filter or wash your air filter or clean your MAF sensor or any of those things, you should also probably pop this off. It just turns like, you know, it's a bit hard to do holding a camera, but see, it just turns like that, it comes off. You've got to put it back on the same way, right? See what it does? All the crap that goes in there and what it does, it sort of like falls out the bottom see that look at that so you can just give that a bit of a and you can take that and give it a wash to look after it give it nice and clean so it works to the maximum and it can go either way 180 degrees out but we prefer to put it the right way even one-handed look at this right see how easy it is one-handed if i can do that so that's part of your maintenance as well making sure that's on there we did have someone that got into a bit of a bog hole uh even with a snorkel uh, it wasn't that deep, but because of the speed, because of the, oh no, I'm going to get stuck, we're going to go for a bit here. This apparently wasn't on or wasn't in place, and when you haven't got that in place, that's another problem. Let's have a look in there and see what it looks like, right? You've just got this little slit. It's only a little slit, but if the water splashes up in there, guess what? You're on the gas, man. You're going for it. Heavy, hardcore, let's get out of here. I don't want to get bogged here, right? Let's see if I can do this one hand. Give me a sec. Can't multitask. You get, you're going for it, and it's sucking all this air in here, and you get a splash in there, and the momentum of it's just going to come straight up, and that's what happens. So water in the engine, new engine. Sorry, you know that wrecks the engine. So just make sure all these things are sealed, like the big hole, not the little holes. This little hole here. Let's see. You can check your air filter to see how dirty it is. Yeah, it's either got pink or blue. Whatever, don't silicon that up. Not enough water is going to, if you've got water that deep up to there and water's coming in there, see how small the hole is and it's blocked by the air filter element anyway, slightly. If the water's coming in there, you've got bigger problems, you know, you need the water to be able to drain out. So the point is, if a bit of water splashed in at this side here, you know, the point is it's going to get separated and drained out that hole. If you've got water deeper than the bottom of your air box, you're floating down the river. Take care, guys. Watch out. Think before you cross the river. A lot of people, you see, you've seen the videos, a lot of people make mistakes, right? I'm not here to show you the entertainment of the cars floating down the river. I'm here to explain to you how things work and give you information so that you can um, be informed with the right information to decide what modifications, modifications, <laughs> what modifications you should do to your vehicle whether you should do it or not, whether you, it's your decision, I don't care what you do, it's your vehicle, I'm giving you advice, I'm never gonna, 
uh, silicon up any of these things in my boxes here. And a snorkel, the only reason I put one on is because it looks good. I do say it looks good, it looks a bit plain without it, but if you can live without it, uh, you know, this vehicle without the snorkel, we've taken through some quite deep river crossings that some people would say, oh, it's a bit risky, full stop. But we take our time to find the best path through, get our plan B's, C's and D's in place, and uh, never had a problem, never had any water in the intake there. Anyway, guys, we're out here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, turn the bell on. There's your info. See ya.